functional group that we have to learn the most stuff with. We have to be able to name them, draw them, and then there's two ways that we classify them. So the first classification is based on the number of hydroxyl groups that are actually placed on the PC. So when, when you take a look at this structure here, this first one, okay, we have a carbon. It has three hydrogens attached to it. So that's those. So I'm translating from the condensed to the full-blown. And then I see this. I has an OH. So when, when a carbon chain only has one OH attached to it, we refer to this as a monohydroxy alcohol. Okay, so when we look at the next example, I see carbon, bunch of stuff, carbon, bunch of stuff. So I have a carbon, my first carbon. It has two hydrogens attached to it, but I also notice an OH. So I'm going to add that to it. I see my second carbon building this out. It also has two hydrogens attached to it, but then I also see this. So I have to attach this OH to it. So in this alkane, I have two different OH groups or hydroxyl groups on this parent chain. So this would be classified as a dihydroxy. alcohol. And my final example here. So when I'm looking through, I see a carbon, a carbon, and a carbon. There's my parent chain. So my first carbon in the parent chain, it has two hydrogens attached to it. But I see HOH, so I understand that this is an alcohol, so I have to add this OH to it. This carbon gets its fourth bond from the next carbon. This next carbon has one hydrogen attached to it, but between it and the next carbon, I see that sequence of HOH. So I understand that I have an alcohol group here on this carbon. And my final carbon right here, it has two hydrogens attached to it. And I notice that HOH sequence, so I know that there's another hydroxyl group. So to this alkane, there are three different hydroxyl groups on the parent chain. So this would be described as or classified as a trihydroxy alcohol classification method number one. Now, the second classification is based on the location of the hydroxyl group on the parent chain. Which parent chain carbon is it on? These are the descriptors. So when I take a look at this first one, parent chain carbons. There are three of them. My first one has three hydrogens attached to it. My second carbon has two hydrogens attached to it. My third carbon, it has two hydrogens attached to it. And I notice that sequence HOH. So I know it also has that OH group. So the carbon that this OH is attached to, it is a terminal carbon. So it's either the first carbon or the last carbon. 
So when the OH group is attached to the most left or the most right carbon, this is known as a primary alcohol. Because it's on a primary carbon. When I take a look at the next example, here is my parent chain. Okay, it has three carbons. My first carbon, there we go. It has three H's attached to it. It then bonds to the next carbon, which has one hydrogen attached. I see that sequence of OH. So I know HOH, so I know I have an alcohol, so I have to attach it to this one. And my last carbon, okay, it has three hydrogens attached to it. Now, the carbon that the OH group is attached to in this case, okay, is an interior. It's an interior carbon, okay? And so that means that the carbon that has the OH it is bonded to two other carbons in the parent chain. So this would be known as a secondary alcohol. So a secondary alcohol. Now, the last example here. Here is a carbon, here is a carbon, and here is a carbon in the parent chain. My first carbon here, okay, it has three hydrogens attached to it. Now, when I take a look at this next carbon, okay, I see something a little bit different. I see a CH3 in the sequence, and it's in parentheses. So this is a branch that we will talk about. So that gets placed right up top. But I still see my sequence of HOH, so I still see my... OH there, so HOH sequence, so that also has to be attached here. And then my third and final carbon, it has three H's attached to it. So now when I take a look at the carbon that has the OH attached to it, this carbon is literally bonded to three other carbons. So this is known as a tertiary alcohol. I'm not sure if I spelled tertiary right. It's going to take practice differentiating between the number of hydroxyl groups, monohydroxy, dihydroxy, trihydroxy, versus location, primary, secondary, tertiary.